Corvette Ronnie. Sweet Lou. <laughs> hey. Whoa. Weird open. Yeah. Hey, you know how women are always talking about their feelings and, you know, uh, what's important to them and yeah. what they need from men? Yeah. You know how we always get that all the time, that crap? Yeah. Well, today on the show, we're going to talk about things men wish women knew about the way we think. That's it's okay. all about the men on the next Men Are So Smart. Good. Hi there and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. If this is your first time here, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel. And when you do, please click the bell. That'll give you notifications each time our new shows come out, which you will find to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific and noon Eastern. Today on the show, we're always talking about how women have feelings and what women want. Well, today we're going to talk about How about us. our feelings? Yeah. Yeah, we got feelings too. You know, women are often... Uh, reprimanded for being complicated creatures. But the truth is that men can be just as guilty of sending mixed signals to the opposite sex. Yeah. A lot of the reasons for why we revert back to society's traditional line of thought around masculinity, we're two very masculine guys. Manly men. Yeah. Uh, my testosterone level, throw the roof. <laughs> 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 What's deemed cool or not, but let's be honest, that's no excuse. So if you've ever wondered what we as men really think and want, we're going to tell you today on this episode. Yeah, so first off, okay, men crave compliments just as much as women do. I got to be honest, it's true, Ronnie. You know, I don't need a lot. No, hell no. You know, I built a little fence the other day. Oh, that's right. You were working that project. My wife loved it. Yeah. And it was like such a ego stroker mm -hmm. for me. It was mm -hmm. like, ah, shoot, I feel like doing that more often yeah. now. Yeah, I remember I built a gate one time from scratch, and it was like, damn. Yeah, I can do this? <laughs> yeah. Shoot. Let us know. Let us hear it. <laughs> Some guys may try to play it off like they don't need praise. They just, you know, threw on that T-shirt without thinking. But anyone who tries to tell you they don't want a compliment tossed their way is kind of full of crap. They are. Yeah. Uh, so think about think about next time those gene, how those genes show off our assets. Uh, and yes, we want you to notice how the edge of our sleeves perfectly grip our biceps. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Careful. We're at the gun show. I don't have my permit on me. <laughs> The compliments, whether they're actually voiced or delivered through a lingering stare, remind men of what attracted you to us in the first place. It appeals to our Darwinian sense of selectivity. Um, and sure, it makes us think there's a possibility of procreation. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bank on that. Or, or at least the practicing of the art of Just procreation. Just the thought of it, maybe. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, well, I tell you, in addition to compliments that we enjoy, they don't have to be just about our looks. That's what I'm saying. Just to be clear, the praise you give doesn't need to revolve around our dad bods. In fact, it's important that women commend the things that masculinity tends to belittle, like if we're good cooks, no, uh, or have insightful takeaways about foreign films. Not so much. No. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Tell us when we're nailing the whole parenting thing. Now, that's good. Uh, if we're being helpful partners or that you think we're caring sons about our parents if we have them. These kinds of compliments aren't something we'll soon forget and only makes us want to further prove that we are worth your kind words. Yeah, how about that? You expect it from us. Yeah. You want to get it from us. Well, guess what? It's a two-way street. You know, a perfect example. I came in last week. I had some laundry in the dryer. Uh, I went, went in later that night to pull it out and sort it. It had already been folded for me. Okay, all right. So, and then part of the reason was Vicky wanted to use the dryer for her own. Uh-huh. So when, and she went to bed, and when I found it in there, I folded it and stacked it and set it aside for her. And she just ran across it this morning, 
She was very thankful. Yep. So it doesn't have to be huge things. It's not like those god dang commercials <laughs> around Christmas time where there's a big bow on a Lexus in the driveway. <laughs> it doesn't have to be like that every time. <laughs> Although they'd be happy with that too. Yeah. All right. Next up on our list is our honesty is well intentioned, sometimes a little confusing, perhaps. Yeah. We know at times that tact can be the four-letter word that we really never learned. No. Uh, but many times being brutally honest is our way of showing you that we care. Uh, think about it. Throughout the day, it's common to lie a little bit to people that have no that you have no interest in. The art of BS is how we get through the day. But with women, we kind of want to forget all that. We want to tell you why your mother bothers us. <laughs> <laughs> and how you can stop fighting with your high-maintenance friend. Not only do we think it'll solve a problem, uh, but we also want you to know that we think highly of you. And mom taught us that, you know, you don't lie to the ones who matter. So I know Vicky comes home and she's she complains about some of her work partners she, v vicky is unbelievably focused at work and the people she works with not so much not so much they spend a lot of time on their phone mm -hmm. you know playing candy crush or minecraft <laughs> yeah whatever and so i will i'll i'll tell her first of all i've told her a couple times you need to quit that job just quit because you're the only one in the office if you were to quit the office may fall apart. it's gonna shut down it may shut down uh, so she actually did just get a promotion a couple weeks ago where she's more of a supervisor now, but it's still, it's a lot of headaches for her. Supervising people on her phones now. Yes. <laughs> All right. Next up, we want you, I'm sorry, we really want to solve your problems. And you know, there's a whole paragraph that I could, I could read to you here, but I'm not going to do that. Look, here's a deal. The difference is between men and women. And we talk about this a lot on this show. We want, as men, we want to try to fix it. You know, Ron is saying, uh, in, in the last, he's saying that he's told her, why don't you just quit that job? It, it, that's not what she wants to hear, and you know that, Ron. Right. right. But the point is that you want, because you love her so much, you want to solve that problem. You want to fix it so she doesn't have to go through that. Yep. But, see, that's the thing. We don't know. We're naive. We, we're told that what it is you want is just for us to listen. We don't have to offer up a solution. Right. But it's hard. If there's a na uh, if there's a nail in a piece of wood, we got to hammer it. That's it's going to happen. We yep. got to hammer it. Yeah, that's going to happen. All right, next up, we want uh, we want women to appreciate our reliability. Uh, similar to why we're so damn honest, a good man demonstrate, demonstrates his commitment to you by showing up. So, yes, it's more than, you know, a little irritating when you go on and on about the jerk who has mastered the art of ghosting, orbiting, or whatever the new dating term kids are throwing out these days. It's a vicious cycle. The more men feel those guys get the benefits of your time and attention, the more incentive we have to become yeah. those guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's a lose-lose for everyone involved. I think so. Instead, smile when we aren't late to a date night or send us a text thanking us. Uh, like Basically, the, we can we can be there. We can be there on time and, and do the right thing. It's kind of a positive reinforcement thing. I think so, too. You know, we went to Vicky Loves the Kings, Sacramento Kings, and, and I do, too. And I was in a position, I, I worked for the Kings for about four years, and... I still have friends who offer me up tickets, and I was offered some tickets the other night, and we went to a Kings game, and she was she was thrilled. She was absolutely thrilled. Uh, she had come home from work. She works very early in the morning. Oh, that's right. She gets to work at like four, right? Yeah. I let her take a little nap. Uh, we didn't eat before we left. I had already had a protein shake, so I was okay. But when we got there, she had a, a little bite to eat. It was a perfect night. Uh -huh. uh, so... You know, you, you do have to have your date nights, and uh, it could have, you know, if you're getting the tickets for free, sometimes it's like, eh, it seems like a lot of trouble. Yeah. But it is a big thing for them to mm -hmm. have a, you know, to have a special night every once in a while. Oh, yeah. Yep. And, and, you know, if it had been a foreign film, 
I don't know I'd be down for that. It's mm-hmm. got to be something that I think you both enjoy. Right. Or have some level of passion for. Yep. Otherwise, you know, and then one person's just miserable sitting there th- watching subtitles. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, we went and saw A Star is Born two weeks ago. I keep saying I'm going to see that. And I was not... I mean, I saw the original Star is Born. I thought it was pretty well done. Well, now, now, hold on. The original was not the 1970s one. There was one before that. Oh, well, yeah, I okay. saw the one. Chris Christopherson right. and Barbara Streisand. That's the one that I'm familiar yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. I love that movie. Great movie. Great music. And I really didn't think that this one could stand up to it. Uh, and But I, you know what? Uh, we could have seen many other films, Venom or mm-hmm. any other thing more guy-oriented. But I thought, hey, I'm going to throw her a bone. We'll, we'll go see this movie. I'm glad I did. Yeah. It's actually an amazing film. Yeah, and he did a great job singing in that film yes. from, from what I've seen on YouTube. Yes, he really did. Mm-hmm. Killed okay, it. next up on our list, uh, what we want you women to know about us. Right. Okay, turnabout is fair play, people. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we don't want to be attached at the hip. No. Now, that's a pretty broad term. But I will say there are some guys, not us, but some guys who are that close with their wives. More power to them. Yeah. Uh, there are some people that actually work with their wives. Oh, boy. I couldn't imagine that. There's no, no way I could imagine that. No way. Uh, if I, uh, this is just how I think. If I had to spend eight to nine hours a day working in an office space with my wife, I would not appreciate the hour or two that we have after work at home. Yep. Not, it would not nearly be as appreciated as it is now. You know, um, we acknowledge the importance of couple time. We'd even go as far as to say that in best relationships, showing your bow, some form of love each day deepens and extends that partnership. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't spend time apart. Going on a hiking weekend with the boys does not diminish the bond we share, nor does taking a few hours to work out solo or visit a store. What? Visit a (laughs) store we know you have zero interest in. Cabela's. Uh, Just like women need alone time or girls night out with their friends, guys need the companionship of other men or time to themselves. I get enough guy companionship here every week. Yep. I just want time to myself. Right. Please, just leave Dad alone. Just leave Grandpa alone for a few minutes. Well, and you know, Vicky has, and neither one of us has any issue of going out and doing something on her own. Uh, she is gone right now. Uh, I'll bet she's at Red Hawk. She might be at Red Hawk. She <laughs> might be at Thunder Valley. I'm not really sure. But she's gone. She said, you text me when you guys are done. So... And I don't, I don't know where she is. I don't really, I completely trust her, so I don't really care that yeah. much. She could well, be out you, shopping. You care for her safety, absolutely. Uh, you not maybe to the point that I do, where I'm, I, I become uh, crazed about whether my daughter, who's driving, is safe on the oh, road. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And That's, I worry the entire time. Not yeah, to that point, right? right. Okay. So, but again, uh, I'm mostly retired, and so I have lots of days off. And yeah, if I go to the gym, that's fine. If I you know, whatever I do, it's fine with her. We don't really have, we're, we're not so, you know, controlling and they have to be within my sight at all times. Yeah. I'm just, I'm not down with that. No, I, I, there, that's a whole trust issue, which we'll save for another show. Yep. However, this uh-huh. next one, men still love feminine touches. Uh, while no fair-minded guy wants women to return to a life of a 50s sitcom, not completely. <laughs> uh, what about Dick Van Dyke? <laughs> there you go. Hey, I'll fall over an ottoman. Except they slept in separate beds. but you With know. one foot on the ground. <laughs> yeah, either way. <laughs> uh, neither do we want the elimination of the feminine as a virtue. Uh, so don't be ashamed to hold on to those things that make you different from us if they make you feel good. Um, we may not always say it, but it's beautiful and much appreciated how much you care about seeing flowers on the table. So I was just telling you when we typically on the weekends, we go to Sam's Club or Costco and we do our shopping in there. And last week when we were walking towards the store, she grabbed my hand and held it as we walked in. It's like, oh, that's, I like that. It's nice. 
today for no reason at all. She just came up and hugged me. So she wants something wrong. Yeah, she wants something bad. Yeah, there's something. <laughs> I didn't check to make sure I still had my wallet. After ah, this. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you know, well, well, my wife and I don't frequently go out, but when we do, and maybe we get a little uh, gussied up and put on our Sunday go to meet and close and go out to dinner. We'll be walking to the restaurant. She'll grab my hand and it's like, wow. We've been married, I forget now. <laughs> Sorry, a long time. Right. 20 some odd years. And even when that happens, it's like, whoa, I appreciated that. Yeah. Or she'll, you know, she'll take your arm or something when yeah. you're walking. Yeah. You know, guys do. We're not talking about PDAs out in front of uh, Macy's. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why Macy's, Ron? <laughs> Why did that come to my mind? Because <laughs> that's the last store I think I was in 20 years ago. <laughs> you get my point. All right. Um, you can be a boss in the bedroom. Look. I don't know, and first of all, I don't know the secrecy of, of anyone else's bedroom habits, nor do I wish to know. Right. But what I am saying is this, every guy that I have ever known, and even more beyond that, appreciates when a woman takes charge. Not every time. Right. But when you initiate intimacy, it makes it that much more mm, special. Yeah, it's a little bit more arousing uh -huh. for sure. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. don't be afraid to do that. We're, and why wouldn't you? We're not going to think less of you. You're our wives yeah. or our significant others yeah. in a lot of cases and other cases. I don't. But I'm just saying, do it. It really makes us feel special. And we probably won't say it. No. Probably not. No. All right, next All right. up. Try not to pick out the one thing we did wrong. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Look, you told me to mow the lawn right. three months ago. I'll get to it. You don't need to keep reminding me. <laughs> Every three months. God. <laughs> How important is picking up our socks if the yard is mowed each week? Uh, it doesn't matter that an item was forgotten at the store when we checked up off the rest of the list. If the kid went to his friend's house with a stained shirt, yet still finished his science project, is there a point in mentioning it? Sometimes we forget things, and maybe it happens even more than you like. I know it does for my wife, but we're human, and the more and more than likely we really are doing our best. So, before you berate us, think about whether it's worth the argument and try to give credit where it's due. Ronnie and I were just talking in in, in pre-production here about this. Is this going to really matter tomorrow? And if yeah. it's not, let it go. And Life you know is too short. If it's something important, there's not a store that's that far that I'm like, what? Hey, I'll go get it. Yeah. If we really need it, I'll go back and get it. Right. Um, now, uh, <laughs> a caveat, which is a word we use a lot on this show, is this. Every day, every day my wife will text me, going to the store after work, what do you need? And I'll put down beer, uh, donuts, deodorant, <laughs> and um, I don't know, uh, batteries. Okay. Okay, for my remote. <laughs> and she'll go home, come home, and I'll go, um, do you have those batteries? I need them for my remote. Ooh, I forgot to get them. You got your beer. Did you get donuts? Ooh, did you uh. want donuts? <laughs> Why did you text me? Why in the hell did you ask me what I need when it doesn't matter because you're not going to get it anyway? Yeah. Uh, that drives me nuts. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so conversely, what I'm saying is, you know, it works both ways. Right. Okay. If you expect that from me, <laughs> what if you said that to me? Well, honey, I'm going, I know this will never happen, Ron. <laughs> honey, I'm going to Walmart after work. Boom. <laughs> going to Walmart after work. What do you need? Tampons. You're still going to need them when I get You're going to need them. <laughs> and you know what I'm going to say? Well, what do you do with my list? Yeah. Right? Oh, sorry, I forgot those. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how they didn't make it into the shopping wow. basket. I actually am pretty sure I picked them up. I might have left them at the checkout stand. Yeah. You know what? They forgot to put them in the bag. Right. Mm. That's what happened. Those damn baggers. You got to watch them <laughs> like a hawk. All right, Ronnie. There you go. So what we've done today for you is explain, we hope, 
what guys need. Yeah. Okay. We know what you need. You know why we know? Because it's all on the cover of every dang magazine. It's on the cover of every story on Entertainment Tonight. It's all about, okay, but what about us guys? We've laid it out for them, Ron. We tried. That's all we can do. Adapt. Yeah. Try some of these. Especially that one about... Where did it go, Ronnie? Uh, Shit. You can be a boss in the bedroom. Oh, yeah, there you go. Try that one. Yeah. Start there, okay? <laughs> that was number eight, but it's a good one. Okay, so we appreciate you watching. We, yep. we really do. Uh, we do the show for you each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It comes out at 9 a.m. on the Pacific, on the left coast, and noon on the right coast. Oh, cool. Although that may change because we just voted to drop Daylight Savings Time. We were just talking about this on my radio I, show. Yeah. Uh, it's going to take some more approval, but mm -hmm. we we took the first step. Yeah. Get rid of that daylight savings time crap. Kinda, it's kind of messed up. It is. It's, it's, sometimes I, spr I spring forward and I hit my head. I fall back quite a bit. Do you? Is that yeah. hurt? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you guys see that there's nothing yeah. good that can come from that. No. All right. Um, if you'd like any information, you'll find it below. Uh, all of our contacts, emails, uh, Facebook, etc. Uh, and, and, and I mentioned it earlier, uh, if you're brand new to the show and you've had a good time today with us, we appreciate it. Subscribe to our channel. Comment. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ronnie? Yeah, I comments. love the comments because I love to snarky return back to them. He does. Yeah. And, uh, me, I'll go, thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate it. Hope you'll tell some friends. Thanks. Subscribe to our channel. Ronnie's like, what the hell's your problem? You kind of suck. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, it's something to look forward to. Comment and find out what happens. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corbett Rock. And this is... Uh, Men are so smart. Thank you. Yeah.